not all the stocks that trade pre and post market fit my trading personality and priorities. That's where the custom combo list comes in. It allows you to pre-filter the pre and post market watch list to qualify stocks by major conditions that you find important. Here's how to build one. First, click on the watch list menu button and choose new combo list. In the combo editor, click the add list button and then choose the pre-market list. This of course will say post-market after close. Now to filter this list, click on add condition. These are just examples. I'll type price and click on it in the list. I'll keep the greater than as my condition, set the value to $3. Click OK. Click add condition, type volume, and I'll choose volume 90 days. I'll set the value of this average at 300,000 shares. Click OK. Now one more. I'll type cap and click on capitalization. I'm going to choose rank to simply eliminate the lowest cap stocks by choosing those above the 25th percentile. Now I'll name it. I'll just call it qualified pre and post list. Now I click OK. The combo list is still showing me only stocks that are actually trading in this pre-market session, but they've been filtered by conditions that make them more suitable for my trading profile. Now you might be wondering why I didn't just use these conditions in a scan. Well, it's simple. A combo list lets me reuse my watch list knowing that my basic conditions are already pre-scanned. Now I can sort or scan this watch list for specific criteria and know that my basics are already taken care of. Here's a quick example. I click on the Add Column button, choose Add Condition Column, and then click New Condition Set. I hit the Add Condition button, type part of the word Gap, click on the Pre-built Gappers condition. Since I'm looking today only for stocks gapping up, we uncheck the Gap Down option. Click OK, click OK. The column is added and you can see the check marks on the stocks that meet the condition. Click the column header to sort and all the check marks are at the top of the list. Now my pre-post combo list is sorted so that the stocks gapping pre-market are at the top of the list. So my combo list pre-scans the stocks trading pre and post market by larger criteria important to me.